secure it up. This works. And we're back, back with, with another, another video. video. Okay, so I know y'all been waiting for this review. Bad Boys Club LA. Episode 8. Finally dropped. And let me say, Zeus messy for as hell for dropping this on a motherfucking Mother's Day. For real, because it was nothing motherly about this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The girls was girling. <laughs> nah, the girls was niggering. Yeah, they was, they was on some nigga shit right there. But okay. Where do we even start? Let's start with um, Jonathan. Not Jonathan. Let's start with uh, William. William. Yeah, this guy William, yo. I think he's doing methamphetamine, coke, dope, e-pills, and molly all in one. Well, his shirt did say dope. Yeah, his shirt definitely did say dope. He giving me Krusty the Crab from uh, Simpson vibes. He was given very much so Michael Meyer vibes. Like, he came in here, like, quiet as hell, blank face. Like, he didn't say nothing. Like, I'm looking like, <laughs> are like, you good? Are you, is you all right? You all right? Is, is you cool? Because that guy crazy as, as a motherfucker. Yeah, I don't trust him. I don't trust him. I think he touched kids, too. Yeah. But definitely. And he on Catfish, and that's tacky as hell. That's not no celebrity shit. That's embarrassing. Yeah, for real. So, it fits that you're a clown on the show. So, apparently... What was going on? I guess Anthony and um William had some beef going on ever since William left the house on social media and they was going back and forth. Because they do be doing lives and shit and it'd be funny as hell. They do. So, boom, I guess, okay, the pot was getting stirred. So, I guess uh, emotions was in the air. So, William decided to turn up to the party. Uh, yeah. And it didn't turn out too good for him. And I understand why he just... He ended up running up and popping on Anthony, but like, why did you run, why didn't you express yourself? Why did you express yourself to Milan fake ass and not to everybody else? You did, probably didn't even have to fight. You probably would have been good and cool. Right, you probably would have got a better understanding. I believe personally that Milan has something to do with that. I believe Milan, he did hit William up, so I believe he hit William up trying to be messy just because he was threatening his spot. You know who I'm getting tired of? I'm getting... Oh, and one more thing before I say I did kind of feel William when he was just playing to his side because, like, I know Anthony. I've been seeing him on his shit so far, and he mm -hmm. is hella messy. So he probably mm -hmm. did try and get kicked off the show. Right. And I will be mad as hell. I'm about to get my ass whooped by Moolah because you doing some bullshit. But I just don't like William, so right. I don't even care. I, I will give him the credit for, like, Running not up. being a scary motherfucker. Yeah. He did pop up, though, and a lot mm -hmm. of people wouldn't even do that. And he didn't get beat up, but he can't fight for shit. Right, but he tried. He tried. I'll give him... He tried. I'll give him that. I'll give him some kudos for that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so... Boom, so the guy from the fashion show, he has a big talk with them and stuff like that. Which and I'm tired of his asses. Why you keep on trying to make it about you? Nobody came to you, see you. You want to be a part of Bad Boys Club, bad as hell. It looked like he's doing cool because he got one of them pig noses. And it, it looked his like eyes be shot the Michael Jackson. I don't know. what the His eyes be shot, right? Shot out. You can see it through the damn glasses. Right. So basically, they having this big talk. And then they bring up Anthony and William Beef. And they like, you know. Y'all should apologize to each other. And William was not having that shit. Mm -hmm. Nah, he was like, no, you know what? You've been talking shit. Mm -hmm. You've been running your mouth on the internet. I'm mm -hmm. running up. Mm -hmm. So that's what he did. He ran up. Yeah. I didn't say he, you know. I didn't say he, 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 he went off. Womp, 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 da, da, da. Da, da, da. <laughs> but he, he ran up. He ran up. Oh, and then, you know, Anthony, he ran back up, pushed him in the pool. You know, da, he da, a da. Mexican bull off the Casamigo. <laughs> right, right, right. So after that, motherfucking, you know, gotta get hype. Gotta mm -hmm. just, you know, gotta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yo, what's up with, 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 with my line, yo? This guy's a freak ball. Get off of gutter, like, yo. Yes, you trying to touch nope. yourself to him bad as fuck. He trying to kiss on him and all this shit. Right. And yo, gutter, gutter that nigga, yo. He got all them niggas in the house all over him and shit. Exactly. And Milan, man, he's not that girl. Mm -hmm. The girls isn't girling. Right, all right. But other than that, I kind of like the fact that, um, what's his name, um, Kirion and what's his name, Milan had their little peacemaking, right. e even though. Even though, Kir I, I feel like Kirion didn't owe, owe Milan uh, apology because Kirion didn't do shit to Milan. He only started talking shit because Milan was coming at him. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that was very adult of him mm -hmm. and a man of him mm -hmm. to just go ahead and apologize to keep the peace. I don't think he did it because he was scary. I think he did it because, you know, he's just a, a grown up. And you know what? I kind of feel Moolah a little more now because Kirion, you're being sneaky. Because, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, do you like bitches or do you like niggas? Because he trying to talk about light skin bitch hard as hell. All right. And she looking at him like, you kind of weird. All right. Right, you know he right. didn't get no pussy. <laughs> but 
I'm like, you better chill before Gutter come up there and tell him what's what's up. Gutter already eat it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's get into the juiciness. I know they've been waiting for this. So Milan on last episode mm -hmm. at the end, you remember Milan calling up his homeboy Rio, saying, you know, a new person came to the house and he felt like it might be tension about uh, his room. Uh huh. And so fast forward, he meets Rio at the front. Right. Rio walks in, they walk in, you know, they're trying to act like they super bad boy, super turned up, da da da, da. Right, right, I didn't right. even know Rio was going to be part of the show. You know what? Rio is giving me Lloyd vibes. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of giving me Lloyd. He, he seemed all right. I don't got no problem with Rio yet, yeah. but it's just the fact that you uh, starting alliances with the wrong people like right. Milan. You I know? feel like Milan set Rio up, really, because exactly. like... You know what I'm saying? You got this Jonathan, this stalky mm -hmm. Texas mm -hmm. <laughs> bull. bull. You know what I'm saying? And then you, you know, he just, Rio, I understand him because he just being a friend. Like, oh, yeah, yeah his friend called him up saying, boom, okay, I'm there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he didn't even make it like, oh, you got to fight. He just said, I might have some problems. I just need you to come. So Rio, he came to party. Right. He didn't come really to fight. Right. Milan kind of tricked him into that situation because I think if, uh, he would have let Rio know that I don't think it would have went like that. Mm -hmm. So basically, fast forward, he come in there and start turning up, and then Jonathan comes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Jonathan you can't have a party without the baddest. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so Jonathan pulls up. Jonathan, he come in there straight face. He's not playing his games. He's going to his room. He mm -hmm. said that's his room. Right. Okay. Oh, some straight gangster shit. So he goes up the stairs, and now I guess Milan has the boss. Now you want to talk to Jonathan, but you were just all scary you, you as went hell. White, straight white boy, straight William, and you straight William. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm now right. you got your friend with you, so now you got the confidence. So he tells Rio to come up the stairs with him, and even Rio say like, "Oh, Milan just told me to come up the stairs." But I'm like, are you, you good? You straight? Right. So he come up there. Um, they enter the room, and Jonathan is unpacking his things in his room that he said was going to be his room. Mm -hmm. So Milan. Could, uh, say, goes up there, yeah. which is supposed to be your fight, right? And we, uh, what's the name? Uh, Milan, you're not even sticking up for yourself, motherfucking the uh, Rio sticking up for you, right? You got this 29 year old man sticking up for your grandpa ass ass, and for real, like, come on, bro, you for set real. him up. And so, he Milan comes in there, do the traumatic sit down, exactly on the motherfucking desk or whatever that is, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And he was like, you know, I don't got no problems with you, like a Texas, stand -off. I ain't got no beef with you, but this is my room, exactly. And Jonathan not having that, he was like, no, no, because mm -hmm. it's not like it's not, hold on, it's not like Jonathan came in there like this is my room, he's talking about sharing a room, and right. instead of sharing a room, you brought a whole nother. Who told you you can bring this person even in the house? I feel like you didn't bring Rio there because you didn't bring Rio there all season. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you only brought him there because... To fight your battle, To which fight he your did. battles and to get in the mix. You, you told him prior to say, oh, this is going to be our room. Mm -hmm. Knowing that Jonathan wanted the room and you didn't even let him know that. That's shady as hell and that's sneaky. And right when, it was, right when they started fighting, he just walks away like he, like little yo, he, puppet master. Yo, he glides off the motherfucking desk. You know what I'm saying? So, motherfucking... So Jonathan like, no. Nah, this is my room. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then, so real like, uh, uh. So a uh, real taking off his jacket. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Boom. And my, my line slides out the way. Jonathan got that tight ass leather jacket, so you know it's hard to get right. out. So he had to just fight like that. Right. And he was trying to take his jacket off, but real tried to like. I guess he thought he was gonna be growing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But nah, Jonathan, Jonathan get Jonathan right. Jonathan one of them hood gay niggas. Jonathan one of them jail gay niggas. Right. They, they can fight. Gay niggas can fight. Right. Don't get it fucked up. Don't get it fucked up. Don't get it fucked up. But, um, so, yeah, run up, and Jonathan started throwing them motherfucking haymakers. So I'm Bro. like, oh, my God, somebody save this man. Somebody save this Real, man. Like, what the Milan, fuck where you Milan? was at? Where was Milan at? Like, you let your, you invite your friend there. You know, when you, everybody know you invite your friend to a place. You're supposed to fight with your friend. You're supposed to fight with your friend no matter what, who's right, who's wrong. You talk about that afterwards. Mm -hmm. Like, bitch, you was wrong, da, da, da. You talk about that afterwards. But you're supposed to fight with your friend. You're supposed to be your friend protection. You invited him there. Mm -hmm. Okay? So they started Mind getting into Milan line. motherfucking been messy the whole day. He was messy with the Williams situation. Right. He was even messy with Anthony because you know Anthony's some club promoter, so he, right. he 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 getting the party shit set up. So Milan doing what he always do, taking credit for everybody. Oh, what's dad? Let me. I says I'm the LA star. Let me call up. Da, da, da. Where are you is, from? Are what? you from LA? Are you from 77th and Hermitage in Chicago? Chicago? Or are you from Atlanta? Where, oh, where are you from? Where are you from? Okay. So and, Who are you? and on top of that, Milan wasn't you just saying that um. Oh, uh, we all have our different lanes and da da da. da. 
that uh, you always trying to go with somebody else's shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. So, they get the rocking. Jonathan yeah. doing that shit. Yeah. And, you know. He was trying to get his shit in, too. But was, they was, Jonathan was doing some big boy shit. Motherfucking Milan, he's such not a real friend. He didn't even get, like, real heads up. Like, nah, you want to fight. I even seen the other friend that they came with fighting. He had a blue hat on. He was fighting. He was trying to do something. It was in the previews. I didn't right, really see Right, right. So, the, so the, the, sh- the show cuts off. Mm-hmm. Um... They start rocking a little bit, and the show cuts off, and it goes into the preview. Now, into the previews, it goes into motherfucking Jonathan. John, let's talk about Jonathan. Mm-hmm. He's a savage. Yeah. He got this nigga dreads made on a motherfucking dread. Now, head. we want to talk about some queso shit, some Chicago shit. That was the most gangster shit I ever seen in my life. You took a nigga dreads off his head and put him on your head, and you know he a hairstylist. So it I looked, looked it up. You looked it up. <laughs> Yo, that nigga gangster. That nigga ain't playing. I'm like, ooh, I'm going to keep my dreads tucked, honey. Nigga, yeah. Like, <laughs> you, got, you got to tie them braids up, man. Right. You can't be fighting with your dreads out. Right, right, right. You can't put them on a ponytail now. You got to braid that you shit up. You got to braid that shit down and put something over that bitch. Oh, yeah. So, boom. We go into the preview and stuff like that. Milan straight bitching on the motherfucking preview. Oh, that man attacked him with a chair. And now he's going to the I hospital. I thought he was snitching because the cops done came. All, all right, type of shit. right. So now you worry about your friend getting hit with a chair mm-hmm. after he got beat up the night before that mm-hmm. and and said and then you and then in the preview you're in a house hiding from motherfucking Jonathan like come on now you just beat you talk you talking about you beating up everybody in the house but now with somebody to fight what, what you doing nothing and you know where would the fuck was Moolah at the whole time was he sneaking some ass yeah because I'm like Not okay no pussy, y'all, y'all been some begging mussy. y'all been Not some pussy, begging some you and Curtis you, that straight crew mm-hmm. y'all been begging oh we need. Female, female, pussy, pussy, female, 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 females. And now it's a house full of f- females. Shaking ass everywhere. I only seen and I seen, Dar- scene. I seen Darrell with, with the with the bitches more than anybody. Exactly. He talking about, I don't mind. <laughs> he, looking, he looking ass, bouncing booty in his face and all type of shit. Right, right. Okay. So I'm like, yeah, where would you at? I'm like, I seen though, like a little bit of ones real quick. Da, 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 yeah, da, just to make yourself. Da, da, da. Mm. But yeah, like what happened? I don't know. And so, yeah. Yeah, this episode was real chill. It was a nice little party or whatever. Right. But, um, yeah, gutter stole the show like always. And I'm getting tired of real. I'm getting tired of real trying to be everybody auntie. Right. Sit your ass down. Ain't you 24? Like, okay. Stop trying to be the mother hen of the house. Okay? Right. You know what I mean? Like, I liked you when you first came on the show. Mm-hmm. You were more fun and more chip. But you just being, like, a little too into everything. Instigating, messy. And he see. just... What's that drama? drama. Who, who do you think he is? He Eddie Murphy, I think. And like, uh, I'm trying to figure out what happened with you and William because I, I thought on the first episode you said as he fought William, y'all was friends outside the show prior to the show. And he was calling him to come to the house. It was like, right? Why are you trying to bully this man? You just like, and why you? He another Milan though. That's why they get along so good because he right. always been trying to insert himself in right. shit too. And I honestly, believe, I honestly believe like Milan was trying to keep Gutter from fighting because he didn't want Gutter to go to the show because. You know what I'm saying? Now I see you talking at after on these lives now. He was talking shit like, oh, got it in. He ain't rock with nobody in the house. He ain't fight. He ain't fight. But you try to stop him from fighting because you know he's going to take the show. And Anthony, it looked like it looked like he was sweating some Casamigos and perfume. I already know he was thinking hard as hell after that fight. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Boy, this shit getting crazy. It's turning up. And I'm ready to see the next episode. Yeah. I'm ready to see how Jonathan gives it to him, honey. I think, because uh, it's real love with no dreads. I think uh, the Jocelyn show coming up next, but they're going to drag that out. They're going to drag that up. If, if it's good enough, we, we, we can get, we'll give a review on it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? They show us enough. You know, we'll give y'all a review anyway. We'll give you a little snippet or something. Right. But, um, yeah, tell me how y'all felt about the show. Like, I want to know what's y'all opinions. How who you y'all feel? like? Who y'all favorite characters? Right. Who you think? Who you think dump the hardest? Mm-hmm. You know who you think is the realest? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, and what you, the one one question for, I got for everybody that mm-hmm. watched it? What the fuck happened to Dylan? Yeah, <laughs> are you Dylan turning to Casper? Oh yeah, he, all I see him doing is talking about Jonathan. At the first part of the episode, but after that, I ain't see him no more. He stay clear. He's not playing, honey. For real. He's like, mm mm. I had my little scribble scrabble the first day, and I'm good. Curtis, I heard uh, Curtis, um, they was talking online from Morel. He had a girlfriend on and off the show. So if you got a girlfriend, why are you talking about bitches all the time? But anyway, right. Curtis just a follower. He's soft as hell. He, right. He's fucking uh, Moolah talking about jogging. He not a real nigga. He don't want to exercise and shit. That's what niggas do. I don't right. know what's good with Curtis. Right. I think I think Gutter didn't wild him out. <laughs> but, um... Pharrell. Other than that... 
Yeah. Was there anything else that happened? Mm. Nothing. This this uh episode was pretty straight straightforward. Oh, and I feel like the oh they was thirsting over gutter. Them niggas in there like thirsting over gutter. I'm like, oh, I'm scared for gutter. They about to like, you I know, seen this try movie, to try to I seen this movie where this girl got raped by like thirteen niggas and drugs and shit. It was giving them type of vibes. Right. Like, they, I'm like, get off of this man. Yes. Get off of this nigga. Yes. Woman, whatever you want to call him. Right. Like, Let mm -hmm. him breathe. It was some thirst buckets. Right. Like damn. But um. Yeah, I think that was pretty much the show. So like, and I wanted to see Gutter perform too. Like, I'm mad I didn't get to see that. I wanted right, to see him stuff. right, right. I feel like you know they they, they, they could have cut the William part a little short. Right, they act like they got a friend, but you know what I'm saying they be trying to stop his shine. They don't want exactly, him to fight. Exactly. They don't want him to perform. Especially Rel, he do it on a sneak tip. Right. Like, Rel, Gutter. Gutter, Rail, and Anthony, they supposed to be close friends, but Gutter don't trust neither of them. And you know what and I mean? you could tell. You could tell. You got you got to watch their little rods and shit. Like, they, they hating on Gutter hard as hell. Hard as hell. Everybody is. Hard as hell. Oh, yeah. So, um... They, they tried to, like, stop uh, Gutter from fighting because they knew that was going to be, like, the big uh, you know, thing. No, he's going to thump. Mm -hmm. He's going to thump, and he's going to take over their whole shit. Yeah, they trying to stop. Everybody trying to stop Gutter shine. Right, that shit weird as hell, but he continues to shine anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I'm tired of seeing Natalie ass. Yeah, I'm tired of seeing Natalie not ugly I ass. I thought you too. said we barely gonna see you on the show and I, bitch, Why you, you keep always there? Why you, you always there? You trying you trying to a bad girl, let them have their moment. You trying to relive your your fame off off these niggas. Right. Get your ugly ass the fuck up out of here, girl. For real. Looking like the fucking moon. Right. Come like, on. Now. But um <laughs> other than that. Yeah, peace. Peace. I uh, like, subscribe, and comment, comment, and hit that notification button. And we're out. Mm -hmm.